Welcome to Two Old Guys at the Movies at the Vintage Film Channel. Uh, part of, by the way, I will say the Two Old Guys series. And um, a shameless plug, I'm not going to forget anymore. Please subscribe to our channel so that we yes. can be known worldwide as the best two old guys you know. <laughs> Who love movies, by the way. Among other um, things, yes. Yeah. So as you probably know by now, um, the Vintage Film Channel is a collection of, I call them rescued films by Grace. Um, and she has collected over the years, she's collected hundreds, if not thousands of um, feature films, mm. documentaries, and tons and tons of great old television shows. Mm. So every week we review a different uh, a different. By the, way, by the way, John, before we go to this movie, which is really a great movie, uh, and we'll get into that in a moment. I like you use that term, rescued movies. So we're yes. going to suggest to you that if you if you if you like that word rescued, but you don't want a cat or a dog, okay, <laughs> this is a kind of commitment that you could go in and watch a rescued movie, okay, yeah. Yeah. and uh, not have to clean up after it and lose those little bags and walk down the street and pick up dew and stuff. So <laughs> I like that. listen, this is a rescue. Without a the mess. Movie. <laughs> well, I, you know, it's interesting. I was searching for a term to describe these because mm. when I said to Grace, um, these are restored, you know, the, and she does a lot of work. She gets she gets this old film, she puts it on right. her machines, transfers it to uh, digital, uh, cleans up the audio, cleans up the video, adds color sometimes if she wants to, all kinds of stuff. But she said it's technically, that's not restoration. The film world... If you're restoring a film, it's a completely different process. She doesn't want to be inaccurate, so I've come up with rescued films. And you know, that's a, and I know also I would say that that's a case. Found. That's a case of two old dogs coming up with something new. It's a new trick. Yeah. Okay, without the mess. Yeah, so. yeah. So anyway, I don't know where she finds all of these. Some are from other collectors, friends, but I do know that she found she has actually found. Uh, old films on the curb mm -hmm. being ready to be thrown out. And she said, well, they look like old films. She picked them up, took them home, cleaned them up, and they turn out to be precious old films, one-of-a-kind kinds of things. Right. So you never know where they come from, but believe me, there's thousands of them on the vintagefilmchannel.com and YouTube slash Vintage Film Channel. So we just, we just arbitrarily pick one. And, week and week, might, week. might I say that now that we've given all this wonderful background information, we should cut to the chase. Okay, you mean cut to the air chase? Well, right? no, that's a little later. <laughs> <laughs> so Joey Brown, the reason I picked this one yeah. is Joey Brown was in 19... Now, he started in vaudeville, and he worked in silent films, but he became very, very popular with sound, with talkies. Right. In 1933, which is what, only three, four years after talkie, the first talkies, in 1933, he was the top box office earner, I think. His, I don't know that his films necessarily collected the most money, but he was the top earner in Hollywood. Right. And again in 1936, so it shows you how popular this guy was. And he was a very funny comedian, and he was known for his big, wide... Why don't you play a little bit of this? We'll just get... Yeah. We'll watch him and also I want to here. say that one of the reasons I love this is that just seeing him made me laugh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he had this rubbery face. He was always playing some kind of hapless something or other. Yep. Uh, just a, and, but it always winds up guy who got everything wrong. Right. But it always winds up with the girl or the good yeah. result. Of course. Now this scene, watch this. Now he's getting very fay. He's doing a female voice. What he did, this scene, he he answers the phone, and he says, yes, yes, hold on, I'll connect you. And then he goes to another phone, and he, he pretends to be somebody right. else. He goes to this third phone. Now he's pretending to be a secretary taking notes. Right. And that was one of his routines. I'm going to Costco. See you later. We're, we're now alone. <laughs> we're alone now. It's, it's going to be great. Um, anyway, and here comes the pretty girl, you know, the love interest. So he's in this movie, Joey Brown is a reporter. And um, we won't go into the plot too deeply because... Because it doesn't matter. <laughs> None of these plots matter. 
but he he somehow gets on the case of some evil thing happening in the air with airlines and somebody controlling the airlines. I don't know whatever it was, and so he he actually uh, is up against an unknown set of bad guys, and the bad guys, of course, in all of these movies are the same characters. Art, go to uh, our second queue at eighteen yeah. thirty-seven. Here we go. There's there's the bad guys. Now tell me, play this and tell me that you don't recognize. Yeah, all certainly, these guys. certainly the guy on the right, big time. Uh, I didn't recognize the guy on the left, but the one on the right, I must have seen him in a thousand movies. Uh, yeah, yeah. A do several dozen. He was a staple of of uh, uh, character actors. Yep, and he in this case, I think he's one of the bad guys. But he didn't always play bad guys. Sometimes right. he played the judge. You can see he just looks judge. the part of an official right. uh, kind of guy. So Joey Brown, of course, is a bumbling idiot, but he's a nice guy and everybody loves him. And uh, somehow he gets caught up in this airline thing. Yeah, well, he's, and, a, he's, uh, a, he's a reporter. And the first scene that we saw, he actually, uh, the, the, the father of the, of the girl that he's smitten with, and who was smitten with him, uh, he actually placed an ad and he, he, he made an error so that it made it look like uh, the guy was selling cheap goods as opposed to inexpensive goods or something yeah. like that. Uh, and of course, it all turn out, spoiler alert, it'll turn out well in the end. Uh, but, but he also wants to buy a newspaper uh, as a bumbling reporter. And uh, yeah. in any event. Uh, Elmer Lane, that's their, who he is. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's anyway, everything he does is pretty funny, but he was known for Joey was Brown was known for his big mouth. Right. I mean, he literally had a, a mouth that went, it appeared to go from ear to ear. Right. And throughout every movie he's ever made, he would make sure he had the opportunity to yawn. You know, they put in a yawn so he could, his mouth could be, or yell. He'd open that big mouth and he'd yell, or or something, anything that to to show off his wide, wide mouth, right. his, his elastic mouth, is it, the way it was described. But but he was one of the uh, cast of characters like uh, uh, Charlie Chaplin and the. Uh, Laurel and Hardy. Uh, yes. It, you, you know, if you're of a certain age, you almost cannot laugh once or twice out loud. Uh, yeah. Which is another good, good thing about Vintage Film Channel. You can actually do it in the privacy of your own home uh, <laughs> and, not, uh, and not be locked up in a theater. And laugh a lot. Laughing a lot. You know, an interesting thing about Joey Brown is that while he was a major, major star uh, between the wars, 1930s to 1940s, in, in, after World War II, um, he was kind of on the wane. His, his career was kind of on the wane. Yeah. He still made movies, um, but he just wasn't as big a star after, the World War, after World War II. By the way, during World War II, Joey Brown, I don't think he founded the U.S. Open. He was big. He was... He was the big guy in the USO in uh, visiting the troops and uh, entertaining them before Bob Hope got involved in that. Yeah. So Joey Brown was a... And by the way, he wasn't that unusual. There were a lot of stars who were big in the day uh, who, yeah. who did that. And Bob Hope just sort of perfected the whole thing in a yes. more modern way. And because they recorded more of them. Because he was a TV wow, that, TV guy, that made a difference. That too, made a yeah. huge difference. That made him the face of it. But all the Martha Ray, I mean, you could go uh, down the list. So, do you want? So, you know, I said cut to the chase. Do you want to cut to the chase? Uh, no, not just yet. No? I wanted to mention the fact that younger audiences, meaning people who are maybe now fifty, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, may remember Joey Brown from. Uh, two classic movies in the in the fifties. I think there was fifties, maybe early sixties. Mad, 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 mad world. Mm. If you remember that movie, yeah. where every comedian known to man was Milton Berle, featured. Uh, uh, Carl Reiner. Well, I, I don't know yep. Carl Reiner, but the, no, since Caesar, Reiner was since Caesar, but anyway, was yeah. Sid Caesar was. So mad, 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 mad world, and uh, some like it hot. Mm. He played a great character in Some Like It Hot. He was the love he was a billionaire playboy in love with Tony Curtis. Um, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, a, a very funny bit. 
So he, he, at that time, he was doing cameos. He wasn't starring in his own films anymore like this one. But this, is, this 1934 feature, um, Riding on Air, is a fun little uh, lighthearted mystery, if you will, you know. And um, it's just wonderful to see. The scene you're talking about, Cutting to the Chase, yeah. I think was very impressive. I, first of all, I found it pretty exciting. And I kept looking at these airplanes in the air saying, how do they do that? You want me to go there? I'm, I'm pretty sure that the technology, yeah, the technology did not allow for green screen and special effects the way it does today. Um, so they must have, you know, it must have been a lot of special effects here. At any rate, he, he gets up in the air and he saves the day. Um, and they're back and forth between, you know, the ground control and the police and the air force and, and, and by, by and the way, so the really ahead of, ahead of its time kind of things, there was a whole thing on remote control of airplanes and things like that. So this was sort of like a bit of science fiction as well, but it was, it was, trust us, it was just silly from beginning to end. <laughs> yeah. 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 But the, the important thing is, I think, and if, I don't know if we'll come up upon it, but Joey Brown is in this biplane, the second plane, mm. and he ends up uh, walking on the wings, which was a real thing. You know, if you had a biplane back then, people, they actually had stunt people who could fly overhead and walk on the wings of the, because of the biplane. Well, this, this show features him doing that. I don't know if it's a special effect or he really did it, but uh, it's pretty spectacular scene. Mm. Uh, well, yeah, and basically they had him uh, uh, doing something uh, totally inane, which was uh, after being uh, his strut was being shot out by a machine gun, he went out yeah. and he taped up <laughs> the strut so that the plane yeah. would still be airworthy. Uh, yeah. In any event, it was. Uh, and he's, and of course he he saves the day, and he gets the girl. Right. You know so. No surprise there. I don't think this is a spoiler alert. <laughs> well, I think it's time for us. It does choke you up. Yeah, it, it, it did choke me up. It was going to make me cry. <laughs> uh, when I'm laughing so hard, I started to cry. But in any event, uh, Vintage Film Channel, both as VintageFilmChannel.com and um, YouTube.com, uh, Vintage Film Channel, you'll find it there. Uh, just hundreds of films that uh, 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 if you've gotten this far, then it's worthy of going back and finding something that probably made you laugh or cry or moved you in such a way and, and get to experience it all over again. So yeah. go there. Yeah. And please subscribe, and, and great stars, subscribe to their great channel. Great stars like Joey Brown. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, this is a, uh, I think this film on Vintage Film Channel runs a little bit more than an hour. Yep. And it looks to be complete. It looks as near as I can tell. It's uh, it's the complete film. Right. So it's a it's a cute thing. Credits are missing, but you know if you really wanted to know more about the film, you'd go on Google. Absolutely, or and you can look all that stuff up. Yeah, yeah. So I hope you get to watch it. It's a fun. It's a worth an hour of your time. Let's put it that way. Vintage Film Channel and subscribe to Vintage Film Channel. That'll help out Gracie. And subscribe to yep. us. It'll help us out. And it'll help you out because you're going to feel good. You're going to feel hey. good. You're going to keep these. You're going to keep encouraging us to do more uh, uh, reviews of the Vintage Film Channel. Right. And and next time you do the trivia night at the bar, you'll know who Joey Brown was. Right. And those two great guys, Art and John, who bring you these wonderful films. Right. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.